count those as being very simple and you'd know those, but let's just look in. I'm walking up back to the D tonic. <laughs> e minor seven. D over F sharp. E minor seven, D over F sharp. So just regular G, D over G, da, da, da. You should practice those, do them slow at first until you can do them with any inversion. Da, got it? So whatever your style is or whatever your level of, of technical ability is, you get the point in that. Let me show you a couple other ones and uh, then we'll move to our, ne our next segment. This is one that I feel is really powerful. I'm going to show it to you in B flat. We got it actually from the song to him who sits on the throne. And again, sensitivity, dynamic range. At the end, one night we're doing this song. Be blessing and glory and honor and power forever. It's just a sweet sister in Indiana wrote this song, Debbie Grossman. Isn't that neat? These songs are coming from all over. Be blessing and glory, just simple everyday people that love God. Spending time with the Lord forever. What we did is that B flat, if you look at my hands here, the B flat, I said, let's sing forever, and I went to B flat over G forever. Our G minor seven fell down right on top of the G flat. G flat with a major seven added as a passing chord to the E flat minor. I don't know why I did it. It was just something that was flowing out of me. Your keyboardist, your guitarist, they'll hear and feel that kind of stuff. And then the uh, A flat became passing on the top again. Forever. Just listen to here at one time here. Watch my hands. B flat over G forever. Forever G flat or F sharp. It's an inharmonic name. Major seven to the E flat uh, minor. It's actually an E flat seven, uh, E flat minor seven chord. A, A flat is passing forever. I'll do it like we did it that night. Everyone sing forever. Forever. Oh, forever. Everybody's getting lost. Yes, forever and ever. with heaven now. All the angels are singing, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. And then after we did forever for a while, this started. Blessing and glory and honor, power. Blessing and glory and honor and power for. Woo, now I got a little rhythm to it. Everybody saying, yeah, forever and ever. People started clapping, and what we did, I believe in that moment, is we lined ourselves up with what heaven was already doing. I'm telling you, all heaven broke loose in the room. We'll be blessing and glory, honor and power, blessing and glory, and honor and power for it. So whatever you're feeling, again, that rhythm, don't be afraid of it. Then we actually, we went for a while, and then again, it kind of peaked. Again, this is that abstract stuff about sensitivity and dynamic range that is so important making the transition from the scripture course, the traditional song, the hymn, into the open worship pass, I mean a flowing open worship pass, where people are really getting lost in the Lord, so to speak. And if there's any place I want to get lost again, it's in the Lord, by the way. But we did that for a while. Went down to forever. Then we slowed it down. Blessing and glory and honor and power. So we had three or four variations of the same song in the same pass, the same measure of time by just being sensitive and open to the dynamic range of, of getting louder and softer 
and, and doing something that we sensed in our heart for the moment. What the Spirit of God is sensing, what you sense the Spirit of God is doing in your heart for the moment or at the moment. One other thing I want to show you is uh, the word he, uh, in Hebrew, tehillah, actually means to melodiously chant the Word of God. And again, I'll show you a spontaneous example. We were uh, doing this, uh, I'll give it a pitch. I was telling about King Jehoshaphat in the Old Testament, how the three armies came up before uh, him and Israel. And they fell on their face and they began to seek the Lord. And uh, God said, call a solemn assembly because these three armies had come up by the ascent of Ziz to, to annihilate Israel. As a result of it, King Jehoshaphat called a solemn assembly by the word of the Lord in prayer. The prophet of God stood, said, stand still and behold the salvation of God. And uh, out of that, King Jehoshaphat said, let's send out the singers and the praisers. No swords, no shields, no spears. But let's send out the singers and praisers. We're not prepared for war, but God said he'd set the ambushments in the prophetic word that had come forth. So as a result of it, he said, let's send out the singers and the praisers. Well, the word there, when they went out and they were singing, the example is Tehillah, where they melodiously chanted, the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever and ever. And if you just use it as a, in a minor mode, which I'm sure they were using back then since they weren't uh, apprised of major sounding modes as we understand today, so they went out and they were singing, the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Now, this is supposition, but it might have gone something like this, the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever and ever. So if you did that with music, It'd be the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever and ever. Well, we were singing that by ourselves, a cappella, no instruments, no, no uh, music going on, by ourselves singing the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever and ever. Then I sat down on the piano and just started that, oh, after we sang it for a while, and your mercy like arpeggio, arpeggios or broken chords. Well, the Lord is good. Man, that thing took off again. Example of sensitivity, dynamic range. Yeah, well, the Lord is good. F minor 7, if you want to add that in there, the second added up to A flat, yeah. Then I came out and added the E flat. Oh, 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 to kind of give it a cadence point or a breaking point. And then back in, the Lord is good. Provided that harmonic base, that music, musical better foundation in open worship chord progressions. And we come right out of it and finish up on a major sounding thing if you like. Back to the A flat. Again, you can do it any chord, any or any key, any progression. I just challenge you to pray about being more sensitive. God help me by your spirit in the name of Jesus to be more sensitive to the power of the Holy Spirit during meetings and outside of meetings to be more sensitive and use that dynamic range. Those are kind of really two different things, but flow together in one unit. You're going to have a great time in your church. He's going to rise up and bless you for it. Bless the Lord. Have a great time with it. For the next few moments, we're going to be looking at some open chord progressions that can be used in free worship. And I'm just going to show uh, five of them to you that I found real useful in my own experience uh, in, in live worship. And some of them come out of familiar choruses, so what I'll do is uh, introduce the last part of that chorus and then just go into the worship section. And after playing it once for you, I'll go back and, and show you more specifically what I've done. The first one comes out of Give Thanks in the key of F, so we're going to start there. I'll just start halfway through the chorus. And I'll let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say
a pretty simple worship progression when you tear it apart. Basically what I've done, if you were going to write a rhythm chart of it, you'd start out on F major, maybe add the second tone of that chord, which would be the G. Initially, you might have noticed that I spaced it, or voiced it, in a way that's not typical. I had the F in the bass, the fifth also in my left hand. I took the third with my thumb right here and then put the F on top so it's just an open sound instead of the, the thick, close uh, harmonies all the time. It just spaces it out a little bit. So I had that as the beginning chord. Then I went to C over F and I voiced it this way keeping the F in the bass. I took the third of the C right here in my left hand, went to the, the root of, of the top half, which is C, in my right hand, and then kept the F again on top. So it went. And then that flows right into the following chord, B flat over F, which the voicing would be obvious. We just go down one step in the inner voices. And then that again would take us down by going a half step in the right hand and a whole step in the left hand would take us down to F again. So it's just sort of a, a progression that works back into itself. That's nice to start out with because it's nice and simple. Don't be afraid of being too simple, but you probably want your worship time to grow a little bit. So I've started filling in the chords. Had the second tone 